If you've been searching for a very easy one pot meal that is low fat, low calorie density, gluten free, no oil, then I've got a great one for you today. So stick around. Hi, Debbie Chu here from Chew on Vegan and welcome back to my kitchen. If you're new here, I'm a plant-based RN and I follow the Stark Solution. The Stark Solution is a program that was developed by Dr. John McDougall and on his program, I was able to lose those last 15 pounds. If you'd like more information on the Stark Solution, I will leave a link to Dr. John McDougall's book, The Stark Solution, in the description box below. On my channel, you're gonna find quick and easy whole food plant-based recipes that are gluten-free and no oil. So if that sounds good to you, please subscribe and don't forget to hit that notification bell because I do post videos every Tuesday and Saturday and I wouldn't want you to miss one. For more plant-based content, you can follow me on Instagram at ChewOnVegan. If you're new to this way of eating or maybe you've been doing it a while but you just feel like you need some more support, I started a Facebook group and there you will find an active group of like-minded people and you'll find recipes, inspiration, and support. And if you're still not convinced that a plant-based diet is right for you, I created a quick little e-guide that explains the benefits of a plant-based diet. And for more plant-based content, make sure you sign up for my newsletter. It comes out every other month. And in my newsletter, I address different topics. Some are from a nursing perspective, recipes, tips, and tricks. So I will leave a link to all those resources in the description box below. As I said in the intro, this is going to be a very easy one pot meal. I did get a few comments that you guys really enjoyed that one video I did on the one pot meals and wanted some more. So this one is going to be a pasta dish and it is so easy. This recipe is perfect for a weeknight dinner and it just uses basic simple ingredients. So let's get started. So I've got a little bit of water heating up in my brand new always pan. This is the pot. I love it. It's made by the same company that makes the Always Pan. This is just their version of the pot. And so I've got a little bit of water in there because we're not using any oil and I'm gonna just add an onion. And we're gonna just let this saute for a few minutes till the onions get translucent. Next we add a heaping teaspoon of minced garlic. and we'll just let this saute for about a minute. If you need to add water to your pot, please do. We don't want the garlic and the onions to burn. That's gonna change the whole flavor of the dish. So just keep an eye on that. Then we're gonna add two tablespoons of tomato paste. Then a pint of halved cherry tomatoes. Then we're gonna add our spices. What we have in here is some salt, pepper, a little Italian seasoning, onion powder, garlic powder, and a little red pepper flakes. I will leave the exact amount in the description box. Then we're gonna add two cups of veggie broth, two cups of plant milk. Give this a good stir. Then I'll be using gluten-free penne pasta. This is a 12 ounce box. Now we're gonna bring this up to a boil. So now we're just gonna cover it and let it simmer for 10 minutes. While the pasta's cooking, I thought I'd have a little chat with you about keeping things simple. You wanna try to keep things as simple as possible don't overcomplicate your recipes. The simpler, the better. You just want basic whole foods. Probably 99% of my meals is I have a starch, I have a veggie, I have a sauce. And that's it. I mean, it's pretty basic. Um, I can throw in a few chickpeas or beans or maybe a little tofu. But all in all, it is just starch, veggies, and a sauce. And if you keep it to the simplest as you can, you're more likely to do it. It's not overwhelming. You just make sure you have potatoes, rice, veggies, some kind of a cheese sauce, 
or maybe a teriyaki sauce or a barbecue sauce, whatever is your thing, um, keep it simple. And for me, I found that's the best way for me to be successful is if I keep things simple. And if you're busy like me, where you have a full-time job and when you come home from work, you don't wanna be messing with recipes and a million ingredients. You just wanna throw it together, eat, get on with your life. Okay, now back to the pasta. The next step is to add five ounces of spinach. And this is gonna cook down, you know it. I've got the heat on low now. Actually, I'm gonna turn the heat off. And then we're gonna add a third cup of nutritional yeast. If you don't like nutritional yeast, then feel free to leave it out. I'm just gonna stir in the nutritional yeast, let this spinach wilt down a bit, and then we'll plate it up and we'll be ready to eat. Before I plate it up, I just wanted you to see that whole container of spinach. Look how much it cooked down. So if you think that's a lot, it's not. All right, let's eat. Check it out. Finished product, mm, it's super hot and steamy, love it. Creamy, tomatoey, gluten-free, no oil. It is absolutely amazing. So let's give this a taste. This plate is freaking hot. Mmm. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. You can't believe there is no oil, butter, cream, nothing. It is just whole food, plant-based, low calorie density, absolutely delicious. So if you've made it this far in the video, I really appreciate it. And please comment below with pasta, and that way I know that you made it and you watch till the end here. And if you learned something from this video or you got value or you just enjoyed it, please hit the like button. That really helps my channel grow. It lets YouTube know that you like these kind of videos and that they will spread this out to more people. And this way we get the word out about how delicious a whole food plant-based, no oil way of eating can be. And if you've been following me a while, you know I always sign off the same way. All my recipes are good for you. They're good for the animals and they're good for the planet. And what you put on your plate determines your fate and your weight. Until next time, thank you. I'm like, hello, I'm far away. Not really fond of that one. Let's try that again. I've got a really good, mm -mm. If you've been searching for a very, no. If you've been, perfect for a weeknight when you get home from dinner, hmm. So while the pasta is cooking, I just thought I'd, no, I don't want to say pop in.